Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, friend, here's more on the conversation we were having about me time. I need to encourage myself and the way to encourage yourself is to know how to praise God while you're by yourself. All right, right there. Now, friend, we're going to get into the why part. Here's why. Because somehow when you begin to praise God, he begins to point out to you just what to do and how to operate in your spirit. Friend, remember when we spoke about you keeping your head up? Here's why. As long as I sit around crying, as long as I got a pity party going on, I can't hear from God because God does not dwell in the midst of pity. He dwells in the midst of praise. So I got to get over the guilt. I got to get over the regret. And I got to get over the grief so I can hear from the Lord. Give somebody a high five and say, neighbor, let us praise him a little bit so the Lord will talk to us after a season of praise. Yes, 24-7 praise, friend, in or out of church. Here's why. It's, it's not what you do on stage. It's what you do when nobody's looking that really determines that glory, that inner glory. In the, in, inner glory is not a preacher's trick. My God. You can copy everybody's tricks, but just because they got your tricks doesn't mean they got your glory. There, there's a realness that, that, that is so authentic. You can't buy it anywhere. You can't conjure it up. I see a lot of stuff that passes for glory today that's absolutely nauseating. And what I'm all for, for contemporary and learning new things and doing new things, I don't cancel out anything that I said earlier, but there is an authentic glory that you cannot conjure. We can get the pipes, we, we can get the elbow, we can get the union, we can get the connection, but only God got the gas.